All right, time to do the last patrol route. So let's enter the Moro sector and see what kind of mission we've got. I was actually a bit surprised to see a ground a uh, ground combat mission during the one of the patrols. Usually during these patrol deals, you usually have to deal with the things in the ship or non-combat missions on the ground, but nope, not here. Commander, this planetoid emits a large amount of a rare type of anti-chroniton particles. Large, rare, uh, bleh. Before we found them here, the existence of these particles was purely theoretical. We call them Crusher Particles, in honor of Wesley Crusher. We don't fully understand the f function of Crusher particles, particles, but our ongoing research efforts have uh, resulted in a dense set of collection satellites that capture and process them. The satellite array is governed by several parent satellites that regulate position and processing. Recently, the array has uh, started to degrade in output and even position. A quick survey of the system reveals that the Orion pirates may have stolen key components from the uh, parent satellites, ostensibly to sell for their component materials. If the anti-chroniton bloated uh, collectors fall out of orbit, it could be disastrous for the entire uh, Moreau system. I need you to repair the parent satellites right away. You will need to approach them and reconnect, reconnect, blah, and connect remotely to conduct the repairs. And we will need to stop the thieves. Their short-sighted greed could end in a catastrophe. Good luck, Commander. All right, we need to stop the Orions and repair the satellites. So we have two things we need to do in this uh, mission. Huh. Oh, I thought that I thought that thing was a satellite, but apparently not. Right, that's one satellite repaired. There's the other one in the background. If a uh, if these aren't the satellites, I wonder what they are. And there's an Orion pirate. An Orion pirate ship, I should say. And unfortunately, you're not able to, uh, you're not able to do things with your ship while you're uh, attacking and defending. So we'll have to destroy this Orion pirate ship before we can uh, repair the satellite. two quantum torpedoes that time. Alright, see if I can find my aft torpedoes there. And see if I can turn around and fire my forward torpedoes. Just a little bit more and I will destroy the ship and take care of this patrol route. Or, or well, take care of this squadron here. I have no idea what I was saying there. Ooh, he dropped something. Unfortunately, it's nothing I can use, though. Right, so where is the next satellite? Yeah, I do not want to... I do not want to, uh go down there and scan that deal because as I I think I mentioned it earlier but I don't usually uh, I don't usually craft so uh, that's actually kind of worthless to me alright just a bit closer and we'll be able to repair the satellite. Maybe these are the, uh, maybe these are the things that collect the particles. 
that's all I can think of. That's all I can think of uh, what they are. And these are the deals that keep them in. Uh, these are the deals that keep them uh, working properly. I don't know. <laughs> all right, what do we have here? A Marauder battleship. And we'll have to take care of that before we can repair the satellite. Uh, okay, it's not moving. Or, oh no, it's moving. I think it was glitched inside the satellite, but I could be wrong. You know, that that tends to happen sometimes. They uh, enemies uh, enemies in this game sometimes tend to get stuck within things. I've seen enemies get stuck within the asteroids and uh, usually other things that are uh, other things that are uh, that usually interact within space. So it wouldn't be surprise me too much if this uh, Marauder battleship was actually stuck inside that satellite. Just a bit more, and... And that quantum tor torpedo should do it. Let's take care of... Let's take care of these uh, interceptors here. They're being actually a little annoying. Also, they dropped something, so... Another quantum torpedo launcher. Scan the satellite, and that's four out of seven. I think I have uh, five more. No, t five more. I think I have three more. Me fail math? That's impossible. Yeah, I have three more, three more satellites to repair, and two more, uh, two more squadrons to deal with. And uh, there's the next squadron right there. Gonna be minor enemies since uh, since there's three of them. Unlike the, uh, unlike the uh, battleships and the cruisers. Fired off two quantum torpedoes there. I always like it when I, I always like it when I fire off uh, two torpedoes. It always makes a, makes things faster. And that takes care of you. And boom. Fortunately, they. Unfortunately, apparently, uh, apparently, even these uh, Corvettes are able to drop interceptors. I usually only thought the uh, bigger ships could do that, but no. Apparently, uh, apparently, the smaller ones can as well. All right. Let's see if I could turn around so I could fire off my. Uh, forward torpedo there. And just a little bit more. Boom. Right. That squadron that squadron's taken care of. I have Two more, two more satellites, and uh, one more squadron to take care of. I bet the, uh, I bet the last squadron is going to be on the last satellite. Right. Just get a little bit closer here and 
slow down a little bit so I don't so I don't zoom past the satellite. And yep, sure enough, the last squadron is going to be on the last satellite. I don't want to say it's going to be a yeah. I didn't want to say it was going to be a big ship since uh since in my last few missions the uh, last objective wasn't uh, surrounded by by uh, big ships like battleships and stuff. Right, torpedo. Let's turn around here so I can fire off my forward deal again. And another torpedo there. Yeah, these are. Uh, I like dealing with the uh, corvettes and smaller ships. They're they're much easier to take out than their uh, bigger ships. Although, of course, that's probably that's probably obvious. Come on, just a bit more. It'd be nice if my evasive maneuvers buff would actually actually kick back in, so I could turn around faster. Boom! Right, what do we have? I destroyed 100 Orion pirate ships. Awesome. Unfortunately, I, I was trying to uh, trying to face uh, get my Ford uh, torpedo to launch, but unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, the uh, Corvette here decided he wasn't going to have any of that. Right. Doesn't matter though because I've nearly destroyed his ship. And that should finish him off. Let's take care of the uh, let's take care of the interceptors now. If the interceptor is destroyed, we can repair the satellite. There we go, satellite can I mean, uh, satellites. Patrolling uh, complete, and uh, that's actually uh, a right. great job averting a possible disaster. Crusher particles have been uh, found at the site of the, the anti-time distortions, which react uh, with time in the same way that matter and antimatter react. When the USS Enterprise D first encountered anti-time in uh, 2370, it caused an eruption that er essentially ran backwards through time. Your decisive, decisive, blech, your decisive actions against the Orions will serve as a warning to any other would-be looters, and the array is operating normally. You may return to your normal duties when you're ready. Right, so we need to warp out, and of course we need to talk to Commander Winters again once we're back in sector space to officially complete this uh, deal. What kind of shield array do I currently have? Tch, regular shield array. Generative. Um, I think I'll take this one because because we are still going to be dealing with Klingons and that that has a little buff against uh, disruptors. All right, the ultimate Klingon. Starfleet Medical has analyzed the reports of attacks in civilian ships near the Klingon border, and they've noticed something. Actually, I'm going to have to do this, uh, continue this next time. Later.